welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a short video today, kind of going over some new foundations that I've tried recently and give my honest thoughts on them. So if that interests you, please keep watching. So the first foundation is the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4 in 1 Tinted Balm. Now I can't remember if I've already talked about this on my channel, but I wanted to mention it again um, because I have used this product and my only gripe, it does, it's the most skin-like and I do believe that this would be perfect for mature skin. Not oily skin though. It does definitely have a do to it, but it gives this skin-like finish that is perfect right now i have some sunless tanner on but this shade is the shade fair and it is so beige and yellow in tone this is not fair skin tone at best it's light um so for that reason i don't necessarily like it because i don't have a shade that will match me when I'm in normal skin color, but this is perfect for mature aging skin or perfect for the summer. It's so lightweight. It's wearability. It's like second skin. It gives you that perfected, like model-esque type skin where it's just got this beautiful sheen. And I think it's absolutely a good foundation. I just think that the shade range, not so great. One that's been hyped up a lot, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. Um, this one has SPF 40 over the other It Cosmetics CC creams. And this one I have on my TikTok channel. But this one right here seems to not have enough coverage on it. The coverage of this is very, very, very minimal at best. Um, I would say that a lot of the media that's that's been portrayed on this, a lot of influencers are pushing this off. Like you are going to get like seriously perfected skin with this. And I don't think that you definitely will. Um, if you try the Milani Tinted Hydrated Moisturizer, this has about the same amount of coverage. Very extremely light coverage with this and I think it's good. I've been mostly using this because the coverage sucks on days where I'm not wearing makeup but I want to add that extra SPF on my skin so I've been using it for that um, just to obviously use it but I'm thinking if you need more coverage or more things that you need to cover with your skin, this is not going to be something that I would personally recommend for you. Next up is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. Now this one right here is almost buddy buddy with this one. I do find this, keep in mind I have dry skin. This one I felt clung to some of the dry spots on my skin but the coverage on this is just not there for me. I do think that Rare Beauty ended up missing the mark on this by releasing this this year. Last year was the year for tinted moisturizers and very light coverage. This year's more medium coverage focused, a lot more skincare related items coming out on the market although it has slowed down as of yet nothing really has hit the market foundation wise but everything's medium coverage skincare most of this year let's call that a trend this is just a little off base as far as trending goes i did not find that this foundation was that great and that's sad for me to say because i absolutely love rare beauty products so i was sad that this didn't work for me but it just didn't have enough coverage it clung to dry spots it sat on top of my skin and that was one pet peeve of mine that i just can't stand i would like for it to melt in my skin wear really well wear really long for that reason because that didn't do that I don't want to recommend it. All right, the Revolution IRL uh, Filter Long Wear Foundation. This looks super promising. In fact, my sister sent this to me because she's seen it on Treadmoon. She's like, you got to try this. And I was like, yes, heck yes. This, this, this one is supposed to be a full coverage, soft matte, breathable, almost skincare-like stuff that's coming out, but more on the full coverage end of things. I have tried this on my TikTok. I did get the wrong shade. This just doesn't sit well on top of my skin, okay? It just clung to dry spots. It looks so patchy. Um, the wearability on this is fine, but if you are trying to wear something that already makes you look like a fucking train wreck, by the end of the day, it's still there, but you still look like a train wreck sort of situation on this one. Wrong shade, obviously, um, that I got in the shade. Sometimes you, you, you hit the lottery and you get the right one when you're uh, buying online. 
but sometimes you don't. I did see that this is recently come out and rolled out to Ulta when I purchased this. The only place you could find this was on Revolution Beauty's website. Um, I'm going to give this a hard pass for dry skin uh, folks. Maybe oily skin folks will like it, but it just sat on top of the skin, clung to those dry spots, looked really, really, really bad on the skin and broke up in this area right here. And like, you know how you get that separation where you get those little spots? This does that. I'd say save your money. Um, and because this was my favorite and I think that this will work for everybody and I also think the price tag on this especially with the economy and the way things are going right now I wholeheartedly believe in this foundation and you can get it at Walmart for just under six bucks it's five dollars 97 cents and that is the new hard candy glamouflage full coverage foundation now it's not full coverage but it is very buildable and if you guys want hit that uh thumbs up button to let me know you like this kind of content but also comment down below if you want to see me wearing this foundation and i will do a video for that i think i did a tiktok on this one but i'm not sure but this one right here is absolutely god's gift to the earth like it is matte it's a buildable full coverage I'll put it right here. It's buildable, full coverage. It, it just glides on beautifully on the skin. It wears beautifully. I put it right here. You could barely see. It melts into the skin. It's just an excellent foundation. And I just truly, truly like how smoothing this is on the skin and how smooth it is to work with and how it melts into the skin, but also has this buildable feature to it. Um, and also wears so long. It's, it's, it's it's really great it's really lightweight as well for full coverage foundation here living in Arizona I found that um, having a lighter weight full coverage foundation that's going to also wear through the heat is perfect and this does I absolutely love this I will shout it from the rooftops this is an excellent foundation I don't know why no one else is picking this up like Michaela come on show the world this so that it could start selling maybe not you know, because then, then we wouldn't be able to find it. But it's so good, guys. Pick it up. What do you have to lose? $6. I'm telling you, try it. I think it's going to work for a lot of skin types based upon the fact that I use it on dry skin. It doesn't clean any dry spots or anything like that. But also, it's got that matte, so it's be perfect for oily skin as well. I think it works for everybody. I think it works for mature skin. I have wrinkles on my forehead. Didn't notice anything crazy or emphasize pores, wrinkles, anything like that. Excellent foundation. $6 really can't beat it anyway guys that's my video for today again if you like this video smash that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel also subscribe to my tiktok it'll be down below i'd love to have you uh, be a part of my family if you guys have any suggestions for any upcoming videos or tiktoks put them in the comments below i really appreciate you guys watching this video take care